what's up, welcome back to my channel. Today I've actually partnered with Head & Shoulders. I'm gonna show you guys the easiest and best ways to get rid of your dandruff, irritated scalp, and flakes at home. Especially this time of year, your scalp might be getting a little more irritated. There's not as much moisture out. We're not creating as much as our own personal oils because it's not as hot out right now. So our skin's getting dry, and that means your scalp too. And that leads to flakes and irritation, and that's the worst, and flakes are the worst, because for me, at least, they always fall into my shirts, they always fall into my hoodies. I hate it. Ew, I hate it. I hate it. I can't stand it. Like, what's the point? If you get all dressed up, you do your makeup, you do your hair, and then the flakes are just falling onto you. So today I have some of my favorite ways to pamper your scalp and help manage flakes, irritations, and all that with some pretty easy and simple products. As I know you guys all know, beautiful, healthy hair starts at the scalp, right? You've got to work on your scalp to make sure that it's going to be growing in nicely. So in the wintertime, if my scalp is feeling dry, if it's feeling sensitive, if it's flaking a lot, the very obvious go-to answer for me would be to just use head and shoulders at least twice a week, but you can use this once a day, you guys. It is totally safe for your hair. It will not damage it. It will not strip your color. These are all myths. Not only does head and shoulders have a superior dandruff technology called zinc that they use, but it also has seven benefits for your hair. It removes flakes, calms itching, relieves irritation, reduces redness. It has a great scent. It fights dryness and it leaves your hair beautiful. And I do love blow drying after using it. It's where it makes my hair feel more voluminous. It has has peppermint complex and tea tree essence in there to be that really at the spa kind of feel or at the salon kind of feel. It just smells clean, like happy and clean and fresh. And like I said, if I have flakes, I will use this up to twice a week. You can use it every day. You do not have to. It is safe for you to use every day. It's a myth that you can't use it every day. It provides instant relief from any irritation on the scalp, any like mm, uncomfortable feeling, instantly gets rid of that. And of course, it's 100% flake free guaranteed, which I need in the winter time when I'm wearing all these dark colors and stuff. Well, I'm wearing white today, but my hair is so dark, so flakes show up on me like crazy. I cannot have any. I've been using it, and look at my hair. I think it looks so shiny and beautiful. And I just got my color done not too long ago, you guys, so if this truly could strip it, like, my hair would be, like, fudge by now. It'd be fudge. So this is just hands down, you guys, the top easiest way for you to get rid of your dandruff, get rid of your flakes, because all you do is use it in the morning, use it at night, use it before your events, whatever. You just use it when you wash your hair, and that is actually treating your dry scalp. It's treating your dandruff, and all that good stuff. It's like, why wouldn't you just have this in your shower so you can kind of just take care of that really quickly anytime you need to? Like I said, before a big event, before a date or something, um, I just got engaged this week and had I not had my head and shoulders, I probably would have been like a flaky mess when I was actually there. I did use this right before I went and I had no idea like what was going on. So that's really kind of like a funny saving grace. But So if you have a bit of a flake problem or an irritation problem on the scalp like I do, I really recommend you guys just try head and shoulders straight away. It's the fastest and easiest way to get rid of, you know, all your problems up there, just use a freaking shampoo. You can buy it from Amazon. I'll have a link down below. It's extremely easy to pick up and get your house and all that. Like I said, if you guys want to check it out, I will have links down below to its Amazon store. But if you enjoy working a little bit harder than just simply washing your hair with shampoo, I won't judge. No judging. I'm here to show you what other little treatments and little things you can do to take care of your dandruff. But please bear in mind, none of these are like scientifically proven, like studies done, have have scientists and labs and things like that that shampoo companies have where they're actually testing these products out and seeing actual you know physical results these are kind of just home remedies found on the internet like I said I'm not really sure how the um, more home remedy things would last compared to or how they would work compared to like the real deal using a zinc treatment in your head and shoulders instant relief shampoo I just see this being a little easier a little faster with the results probably and that's that's what we want right when it comes to flakes. So my first little home remedy is of course just tea tree oil and this is kind of cheating because tea tree complex comes in the head and shoulders actually so I did see that that is something used to treat and help calm the scalp. Tea tree oil is great. Everybody loves tea tree oil. It can clear your blemishes. It can treat little things like that you know um, and it does help to calm your scalp, relax your scalp and treat the flakes and dryness. What you can do is you, well, clearly you could just go pouring but that's gonna look like a nightmare right so I would just recommend taking a little bit on the fingers if you were going to use Use this and just dotting it along your hairline. Um, the only setback and the thing is with this is of course it's going to make your scalp a little oily. It can look a little oily and I don't necessarily love the smell of the tea tree on my head. Does that make sense to anybody? Like tea tree, to me tea tree oil is a very strong scent and it's a little potent for me. It's a little like 
<laughs> I don't love it like just sitting on my head. I don't really like how it smells. So for me, I would probably just stick with the shampoo that had a little bit of it in it already. Or whatever, if you prefer using the natural, um, yeah, you can just pick up a whole little tea tree oil and use that right along your scalp. Lavender oil with milk. And I'm out of milk. I got no milk right now, okay? But a lavender oil and milk, could you imagine? You mix just a little few drops of lavender oil. I gotta smell this. And a few drops of milk, and that's supposed to help calm your scalp. I could definitely see how it would help with dryness and irritation. Sure, that milk, because I've I've taken milk baths before. Mm, I love lavender. If you have time to put milk and lavender on your head and get it to stay, that's the other thing. It's like, how do you, how do you put it on your head? Like, how do you mix the milk and the lavender and get it to sit on your head? I'm not really sure. Still, shampoo just sounds a little bit easier to me. Listerine mouthwash. That's right. And again, for me, this is kind of like, I don't like, oh, I just don't want to pour this all over my head and have it go all over my body like but Listerine you guys Listerine I saw this everywhere on the internet people saying yes mouthwash will help get rid of all your flakes and dandruff and then I saw other people saying no it only burned my scalp it made it worse like don't ever try it so like what the heck? I don't even know like where to go with that. That is kind of scary actually now that I think about it. If you were already a little irritated on your scalp and if you already had like cuts or sores or anything like that and then you go pouring like Listerine on it that has alcohol in it like that sounds like a nightmare actually. So you could of course maybe put it in a spray bottle and just spritz it on your crown and things like that. That's really nice and fine. But who wants to smell like mouthwash? I don't want to smell like mouthwash. I don't want my hair to smell like mouthwash. I do not want any of me, other than my mouth, to smell like mouthwash. This next remedy I couldn't even freaking find anywhere. It was driving me nuts. I've been looking for this extract, trying to show it to you guys, and I can't find it anywhere. Of course it's in stock online, but it's not in stock in any store in New Jersey. Neem leaf extract? My Whole Foods didn't have it, nothing. Nothing had it for me. I found it online, but by then I was like, forget it. I'm not gonna order it. If you do have neem leaf extract at home, apparently a little aspirin and a little neem leaf oil go a long way on your, you know, scalp for treating any irritation, dandruff, flaking. Okay, only two left and then that's it, you guys. The next one was a very simple apple cider vinegar and water. Put it in a spray bottle, spritz your crown with it, and then rinse it out afterwards. Again, I think it's all a lot more to do than just using a shampoo, but that's fine. Oh, this stuff smells so bad, I swear to God. But this is the apple cider vinegar. Um, this is the apple cider vinegar, I said. I don't know, I'm, I use this on my face for um, a face mask, and you guys know that clay face mask, and I can barely stand it. I can barely stand the smell. It smells right, oh, I hate it. And last but not least, fam, baking soda. You can try out some baking soda on your scalp. You can add it into your shampoo. You can add it with water, with an oil. Um, again, just massage, massage, massage. All right, guys, that is it for my video. If you want to check out the Head & Shoulders Instant Dandruff Relief Shampoo, it will be linked in the bottom box down below to an Amazon store where you can purchase it. All the other home remedies that I mentioned today will be linked down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, I love you, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.